The point of the mustard seed, the point of the whole seed concept is to say, God's word starts small. Um, it's so small that sometimes we wonder if it's going to be effective, if it's really going to get through. And so sometimes we lose heart there. But God takes small things and does great things. Who is Jesus, born of Tamari and Joseph, simple carpenter's son, and all that. And yet he grows up and, and he's the savior of the world. Uh, and God's got examples of that all the way throughout scripture. Our Old Testament lesson for this, the fourth Sunday of Pentecost, talks about God taking not the huge tree, but just a small portion and from it making something great and big. Um, Jesus is that. So turn to Ezekiel chapter 17, beginning at verse 22. We're going to read just a small portion of that. This is on uh, page uh, 893 in your pew Bible. Most important words are these first words. Thus says the Lord God. I myself will take a sprig from the lofty top of the cedar and will set it out. I will, bring, I will break off from the topmost of its young twig, a tender one, and I myself will plant it on a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain hot of Israel, I will plant it, that it may bear branches and produce fruit and become a noble cedar. And under it will dwell every kind of bird. In the shade of its branches, birds of every sort will nest. And all the trees of the field shall know that I am the Lord. I will bring low the high tree and make high the low tree. Dry up the green tree and make the dry tree flourish. I am the Lord. I have spoken and I will do it. To which we say, this is the word of the Lord. And thanks be to God.